a racing game in BASIC. Welcome to this Sunday Night Chini Vision, and I know some of these Sunday Night videos have had a bit of an Amstrad CPC theme, but what do you do? Today I want to talk about a game called Racer by Ken Murphy. It was a listing in the March 1986 edition of Amstrad Computer User, but also a couple of years later available for download on the uh, Channel 4 Teletext service, which is how I downloaded it onto my CPC as I had a Teletext adapter. It's about five pages of pure basic listing, no data statements or anything like that. And it's a oh, it's a racing game. And you can be able to type it in um, in basic and, and play it. So not the kind of usual fair, not a kind of shoot 'em up or a maze game or anything like that, like many of these typing games are. No, we've got a full racing game, or so we are promised. And yes, you'd have to have quite a lot of patience to type this in. And there is no CRC checking either, um, as with some of the later listings in especially Amstrad Action. We start the game up, and Racer by K. Murphy, age 14, copyright 1985. Although published in 86, race along the track, avoiding rival cars. As a demonstration mode, the controls are joystick only, and you can also select from four different row conditions. A normal, icy, nighttime, and thunderstorm. And a different level of play, so you've got quite a lot going on. Here we go, Racer by K. Murphy. Her aping pole position. Now, the thing to do is not to hit forward on the joystick. The car will start accelerating automatically. There is a damage meter down at the bottom, and you can see the track, although it doesn't show you exactly where you are on the track, so you have to remember. And uh, yeah, that the roadside has well, gone past one car. The uh, capture is not particularly liking the flashing used for the curb, so that's not how it actually appears on screen. We've got past two cars, we've got a score. I have incurred some damage, however, it's very easy to incur damage. There's no pitting or anything like that, and the aim of the game, as far as I can see, is just to keep on racing and achieve a high score. Cornering is, um, as you can see, interesting. It's a basic game. I'd, if this was a commercial release, I'd perhaps be shouting by now but this is all done with character graphics in in basic on the cpc using the symbol command so it's quite impressive that you got the cornering going and then it moves at a fair old speed there's no roadside objects how you incur damage seems to be um well you just seem to incur it basically i think you need to actually slow down the corners perhaps Perhaps damage actually means tire wear. And yes, checking the instructions, it is the case that if you go too fast around corners, you incur damage. And in fact, you don't need this, you're not against a timer, so in many ways, there's no incentive to actually go speeding around the corners. But, oh, it's getting a bit too much. I've exploded. Your play rating is a brill burner. Cars past 15, you scored 6675. Press fire. A Ken Murphy, who was 14 when he programmed this game, went on to code 750cc Grand Prix for Codemasters and Twin Turbo V8. Let's select, let's select uh, Nighttime Racing. And also contributed on the audio to Swift. Uh, more recent games he's worked on include the 2013 version of Sim City and uh, the Rockstar Table Tennis game. So nighttime is a, a change of colours, but this is quite a good thing to have in a basic game. I mean, again, this is a basic typing. You think there'd only be one track and one set of weather conditions, but no, we've got nighttime just to give you a little bit of variation. I mean, yes, the corning ring is, is ropey, but I can't really hold it against the game because you're doing this in basic. There's literally no data statements that I can see in this listing. You have not 
and quite a lot of basic listings in computer magazines, especially Amstrad computer user at this time, just had a little bit of machine code in there via data statements just to get some of the more difficult stuff done. But Racer is, oh, I've got real big damage there hitting that car. Racer actually is pure locomotive basic. There were some commercial games released uh, purely written in BASIC. The Gems of Strados, one of the early Amsoft games, was written purely in BASIC. In fact, you can break into it. And uh, the uh, Crazy Golf game by Amsoft was also purely written in BASIC. Simply because they were some of the first games written for the machine. Oh, game over. Press fire. No bonus. I'm a rough river. Come on, let's try another racing set of conditions. This is icy. Presume we need to slow down more on the corners. It's even got little graphics on the horizon. Look, little mountains. If you like Vision, there is a Patreon you can check out. It keeps adverts off this channel. There's bonus videos and previews and different things on there. Well, mainly it's bonus videos and previews. Well, if you don't want to do that, there are Chini Vision pens available. They are blue metal pens with gold trim and uh, also the new Chini Vision coasters. Check those out at ChiniVision.com. I'm David Pleat, apparently. That is a, a legally proven statement. Try a different track. Let's try a thunderstorm. What, is there going to be rain? What's going on? Is it going to be like um, Street Machine, where it just makes crashing noises and flashes the screen? Probably that. Answer, I, of course I know what it is, because I had the game. So off we go. Yes, there are distracting flashes. And they're crashing noises to add to the challenge. It's quite nicely presented. I mean, whether you'd want to type in five pages of this, all I had to do was download it from Teletext. And as I recall, that was fairly fraught because you would get CRC errors downloading it. So you'd have to let it cycle through the pages a few times. It, it could be a little bit dicey, but this was a game I did successfully managed to download. I think it was called Tele Software uh, on Channel 4 Teletext. BBC also had um, Tele Software as well, but they tended to concentrate on the BBC Micro. I think I'm remembering this correctly. It's a long time ago. And of course, you could view the pages on any regular TV with a Teletext decoder, but um, it wouldn't be able to do anything. You needed a a text decoder plugged into your computer. Racer certainly isn't a commercial quality game, but it's a typing game. And it's one of these high quality typing games. It is a pure, basic game, no data statements at all. And for a 14 year old to write all this in basic and send it into a computer magazine, let alone for it to be the start of a very successful coding career, is a real achievement. It is a high score challenge game. I had some fun with it back in the day, granted I wasn't putting down my copy of Continental Circus in order to play this, but I got it for free, didn't have to type it in, I certainly wasn't complaining. Today it's fun to go through the listing, have a look at how it's all done, and just see actually what you can achieve in the, I think, underrated version of BASIC included with the Amstrad CPC. Locomotive BASIC is a very good BASIC, and I think with Ken Murphy's talent here, it helps prove that fact.